So we're out here today. It's a Friday afternoon in our uh, Everland in furrow corn plot. And uh, it's about 93 degrees here today. It's gotten a little warm. And uh, went and pulled up a couple of plants here, one in the Everland plot and one in the uh, check. If you don't know what what Everland is, Everland's a product by Vive. We've been using it in the cotton last year and uh, getting better results than the competitor at, you know, way less money. So we have a lot of root knot, and, and this is for root knots. So we have a lot of root knot nematodes in this area. This field here behind me is, uh, you know, one of the, probably one of the worst that I have on my farm. So we put a Everland in furrow root knot nematode test together and, and put out an application of that. So in both of these, the check and the, uh, and the Everland plot, we had our grower standard practice and then we added Everland to the, to the mix on, on this plot. And, uh, you know, I went through here, looked at the plants. I've dug up two plants. I randomly went out there about the same depth off the lower end, just put my shovel down and that's the plant that I dug up. We're both of them, as far as maturity is the same. Uh, we're three leaves before tassel on this one and we're three leaf before tassels on the check bow. So, you know, I was looking at maturity. One thing I do see, and I don't know how much you can tell it here, but you know, this, the, the Everland plant's got a little bit more girth to it and a little bit healthier stalk. Now that could be from, you know, just having a better root system. It could be from the root knots, not really attacking the plant as much. Uh, you know, there's several different factors that can make that happen. Both plants look similar, but what I've seen here that I really like is in my opinion, we've got the, we've got the Everland plot here and you see these big robust, you know, longer roots. And then on the check, you know, it looks pretty good too, but it's more little small fibrous roots and not as many of the big robust roots. Well, one thing I see straight off the bat is we've had so much moisture this plant has actually went deeper down than the check has. Now, I would assume that might be because of root knots. We've never worried about root knots in corn, but corn is a host for root knots, but it's not a yield robber. Let me back up. We didn't think it was a yield robber. So this is gonna be a telltale test 